Noah, I don't want you to leave like this. Like what? Angry, bitter. We've been through so much together. Don't we deserve a nice goodbye? And what? I promise to, to stay in touch, stay friends? Yeah, absolutely. We were more than friends, Luke, so much more. I'm hurting like hell right now, and yet you're not hurting at all, which makes it even worse for no, me. No, that's not true. I'm hurting. Oh, really? It doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to take the high road and just wish you and Reed a happy life together, but I'm not that nice. Yes, you are. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met. And if we end things like this down the road, I know you're going to regret it as much as I will. Yeah, I would, but I can't pretend that I'm not feeling what I'm feeling. Fine. Then let's get everything out in the open. You're angry at me. No, I'm not. I'm well, not. then, what? Going to L.A., I mean, having this opportunity to break into the film business, it, it's, it's been my dream for so long. I mean, you, you know that. And now you're living it. No. <laughs> no, Luke, I'm not. Because in my dreams, you were always there with me. You, just right by my side. And now that I'm going out there on my own, it's, it's not the same. You know what? You're smart. You're talented. You're gonna be great out there. I wouldn't even be going to L.A. at all if it wasn't for you. I would never have had the guts to face my father or surgery. I mean, at every major milestone in my life, you've been there to give me courage. You believed in me when I didn't believe in myself, and... I don't know if I can go out there and, and do this on my own. Of course you can. But I don't want to! Don't you get that? I'm still in love with you. You said we should be honest with each other. I meant it. So be honest with me. I mean, are you really ready to say goodbye to me, for, to us, for good? No, I... I love you, and I will always love you. What? Let's say it, but... You're not in love with me anymore? You're in love with Reed? Are you? What, what, do you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yes, I'm in love with Reed, I am. <laughs> He's not right for you. He, there's something about him. He's selfish. He's gonna hurt No, you. no, I don't think that's true. But you don't know. Yeah, but you never really know what anybody's gonna do, do you? I, I deserve that. I, after the accident, I, I pushed you away. Because I, I, I blamed you. It was easier than, than blaming myself. No, I, it was an accident. I wanted to punish you. Well, mission accomplished. No, I wanted to be there for you. I wanted to help you through it, but you cut me out of your life. So what? So what? This with Reed? This is all payback? No, no. This is me. This is me realizing that although, yes, we loved each other, we were not right for each other. But you and Reed are. Yes. <laughs> I just, I thought that... I didn't think this distance between us would last. Well, then what did you think? I don't know. I thought that when we... That we'd come out of this at the other end, you know, together. More connected than we ever Noah, have Noah, been. we will always be connected. Yes, yes, we will. Otherwise, we would not be standing here and we would not be having this conversation. It's not... It's not the same. No. It's not. We can still be friends. Good friends. No. I can't. Reed's not home. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Come on in. I thought Reed said he'd be at the hospital, but I checked and he wasn't, so I guess I misunderstood. Oh, I don't know. Usually I have a vague idea of where he is, but today I'm just kind of in my own world. We just buried Chris's grandma. Yeah, I heard. Are you holding up? Honestly, I've been better. Oh, Katie, I'm so sorry. This is really unfair. Yeah. Nancy was just such an amazing woman. She... Oh, it's so weird to think she's not going to be around anymore. Doling out advice whenever I need it, and I could 
really use it right now. Oh, I'm not just talking about Nancy. What then? You know about Chris? Well, he and Reed didn't want to tell you because of everything you'd gone through with Brad, but I told them that you're stronger than they think. Yeah, but that's just the thing. I'm not. I'm such a mess, Luke. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry about your grandmother, Chris. I always enjoyed chatting with her at hospital functions. She was a, a grand lady. They don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> no, sure don't. How's your father holding up? Ah, uh, good, good. Um, as could be expected. I mean, not well enough to play golf today, but, you know. But you did. Yeah. Despite your grief. Well, thought it'd be a good idea for us to get better acquainted. I agree, I agree. Top-notch idea. Uh, I tell you, my grandmother, I think she would approve. She was devoted to Memorial, so... Oh, she raised an awful lot of money for us over the years. Yeah, <laughs> well, Memorial is in my blood. Practically grew up there. You know, I've seen it change and evolve over the years. I've got a pretty clear idea where we need to go in the future to remain a cutting-edge institution. I'm all ears. Well, I think technology is our biggest obstacle. I mean, we've already computerized our record-keeping, which is, which is just great. But we need to upgrade a few uh, key key systems. Chris? Yeah. No, I'm I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm fine. I, Are you sure? Yeah. No, it's um, it's I'm sorry. Allergies. Uh, do you need an inhaler? Uh, no, no, no need, no need. I'm fine. In fact, let's go hit the course. Cool. Chris Hughes, what a surprise! Uh, Mr. Pierce, Dr. Reed Oliver, we've met a number of times. Of course, you're this young man's competition for Memorial's new chief of staff. What a coincidence running into you like this. Hey, listen, since we are all here, do you mind if we make it a threesome? Yes. Not at all. The more the merrier. You two can tell me your ideas for the future of the hospital. I'll tell the starter. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? John Dixon is right. You are an idiot. You're in danger of heart failure any second. OK, don't exaggerate. Obviously, you haven't seen your EKG. I don't need to. Golf is not a strenuous game, at least not the way I play it. Where did this denial come from? It can't be genetic. Most of your family is relatively rational. Look, I'm going to play a few rounds, and then I'm going to bow out. No, you're going to bow out right now. No, look, my parents asked me to be here. This is important to them. It's more important than your life. You know what? I'm going to go to the hospital when we're done here, all right? And then I'll sit down with my parents, and I'm going to tell them what's going on. If you're still alive. You please just go. Nope. Fine. You know what? D do what you want to do, but you're only going to embarrass yourself. You don't even play golf. If you're staying, I'm staying. You may need CPR. Well, it's a beautiful day to be out on the old links, huh, Leland? Can't ask for better weather. What's your handicap, Reed? Uh, I don't know where you've been. We don't use the word handicapped anymore. The correct phrase is physically challenged. Reed has a strange sense of humor. I have to warn you, son. Golf is my passion. I take it very seriously. So seriously, what is your handicap? Yeah, I don't have one. He's new to the game. New as in brand new? As in you've never played before, not once? Never held a club in my life before now. It's all right, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fast learner. You know, why don't you just watch us today, follow along, and then you can take some lessons, and then some other time. No, 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 I want to play with you guys. I'm psyched. I'm not going to slow you down. Come on, you're just hitting the ball off of a, a little wooden toothpick thing. How hard can that be? Yeah, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, here, let me... All right, you put the ball here, right? All right. Now, what am I aiming for? The little hole down there. See the flag? Hole, flag, yep. All right, I got you. Ugh. Oh, cow! You hit a perfect drive. Keep playing like this. This game will be over in no time. That's the idea. 